The same way we can arrange Skittles into triangles, we can arrange them in a hexagon. So start with the simplest one that is one, the next one go one, two, but this isn't a hexagon. If you do this, that is almost a diamond. So to make the first hexagon, you need to go like this. And then you have a hexagon that is two units on each side. This one you just pretend is one unit on each side. To make one that's three units on each side, go like this. So you see that this one is embedded in this one, which is embedded in this one. So at each layer you go up, you're really just adding another level to the one outside. So if you want to see the pattern here, you might count this up. This is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 19. Let's do one more and see if we can figure out what the pattern is. So that one had one across the center, that one had three, that one had five. So we need know we need to start off with seven for this one. So here we have another hexagonal number, which has seven across the middle, then five, then, then six, then five, then four. Same thing here, six, five, and four. So how many total are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 37. But I'm gonna count again to make sure because I'm not sure I got that right. Nope, I did, it's 37. Because you have 15 on the top, not excluding the middle row, and 15 down here, 15 by 15 is 30, and then seven across the middle is another seven. So look at these numbers here. We have one, seven, 19, 37. So what is the pattern? It's not super obvious at first, but you notice to get from here to here, you add six, and then to get from here to here, you add 12. So six, 12, what would be the next one in that sequence? Is it plus 18? It's 19, it does check out. So what would be after that? Would you have to add 24 to get up in the next number? Well, what's 37 plus 24? Grab your calculator and you figure out it's 61. Now, of course, you need to make sure that works out, but instead of doing the entire thing from scratch, all we're gonna do is add another row all the way around this one. Then you eat a couple because you deserve it after all that work. And you see, does this make sense? Did we in fact add 24? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 21. Yes, we did add 24. And in fact, if you notice this outer row each time, you need to add one in each direction. At first you have three across, then you have four across, then you have five across. So every one of the six sides, you add one. So each time, The camera messed up there, but let's keep going. Each time you add an outer hexagon, you add another one to each of the six sides. So plus six, plus 12, plus 18, plus 24, and then plus 30 would give you a total of 91 candies needed to make this even bigger. So why does that make sense? Well, when you add this outer loop with had five on each side, what you need is you need at least as big as the one that has four on each side, but then one more on each side. Nope, let's call it good.